Hello and welcome once again. Today I'm going to make a needle volatile cat and uh, I've sketched it out first so I wanted to make my own design and I'm using Corydale, not sorry, not Corydale. This is Shetland Slivers, carded and I wanted to try it out but I think that Corydale is better because it uh, Corydale fells a lot faster. So as you can see that uh, I've sketched it out first so I'm going to try and make it as close to the sketch as possible. And I'm doing the body first and it's going to be a really small cat because I'm trying it out for the first time and as I've told you earlier I'm a self-taught artist and I like experimenting and as we go along you'll see me making mistakes and then fixing them so it's all part of the learning process so I'm just felting the body first and after rolling it into a ball I just squished the top of it to give it shape as I can just add more wool to the shape so I'm defining the shape first and I keep looking back to my sketch for reference and I want to make it as a sitting cat I'm sorry about the washing machine in the background <laughs> um, it's, now it's stopped so I'm going to make it quite firm and then I'm going to shape the head according to the body you can always make things bigger but you can't make them smaller once they're felted so i'm rolling out some more wool for the head and it's just going to be a rounded shape i'm just going to mark where the eyes and the nose are going to be and uh, it's easier to put the eyes in first before you make it too firm so they are embedded into the head I'm gluing them in using all-purpose glue and then I'm going to make it firm and going to add more wool to give it more shape and get it more closer to the sketch I've made. Now I'm adding more wool to the head to make it a bit bigger because I feel that it's too small. When you're doing your own design, you can just keep shipping it up and adding more wool until you're happy with it. Now you have to make the shape of the mouth so I'm adding some more wool to define the shape of the cat's face so it's more near the nose and then I'm going to add the muzzle so I'm felting down some wool and then I'm going to put it on so it defines more of a cat's face And I like shaping it with the needle as I go along. I'm going to add more color to it but still the core will, will have the shape. So it's more wool. 
just below the nose and the muzzle. Now I'm going to attach it to the body and if you just turn it upside down it's easier and you can just go all the way around and secure it to the body and I'm going to see my sketch again and see how the face has to be So the back needs more wool because it's a fat cat and it's sitting so you have to make the rear side. I'm adding more wool to the whole of the back from the head all the way down. And I'm going to make it a bit rounder so it looks like she's sitting, she or he. More wool to the tummy again. So you see when you're felting, you can just shape things the way you want them to be. And I really find this craft really interesting and really enjoyable. You can always use your fingers to shape a bit. Now I'm going to add color to it. I'm using light grey. So I'm just going to put it down and tap it down. And I'm going to cover the whole body with the same color. Just the front will be white and the muzzle. Now the body is done and I'm going to add some dark grey colour around the eyes. So I'm using just little strands of wool. Just getting the color in there and later I'm going to make the eyelids. I'm going to give it a pink nose. So I've taken a little bit of pink and I'm just felting it down. So, and I'm shaping it with the needle. Now I'm going to make eyelids, taking a little bit of grey colour and just placed it on top of the eyeballs. And then I'm going to fold them down and shape them.
Some more grey colour between the eyes. I'm giving it to defining the mouth shape with the dark grey colour. It's going to go inside where the mouth is. Just cut the extra bit of wood and felt it down. Now I'm defining the nose with the little strand of dark grey wool. I'm putting some white color on the mouth and the same color will follow on to the stomach and the tummy part. So now I'm done with the coloring I'm going to give the cat its ears now. So just fold it some wool into a triangle and I'm folding it down. The cats have pointy ears and uh, they have to be really well felted so I'm using a 42 needle just to get the details in it, like to really felt it down. So they have to be of the equal size, both of them. Once you've made one ear, it's easier to do the other one because you can always measure and see where you're going wrong. I'm just taking off the extra strands. And one felt a bit thinner than the other, so I'm adding more wool to it. can loosely place the ears first and see if they're at the right place where you want them and then you can just swell them down securely. I'm adding more grey wool to it just to make it a bit more plumper and I think I'm going to add more to the cheeks as well. I've done on one side and it looks good so I'm going to add the same on the other side as well. Like this is a fat cat and I want the head to be really round and so the body to be really round as well.
Now I'm going to make the limbs. So it's really simple, just a strand of wool and I've rolled it into shape and I'm felting it down. So the hands are really easy to do. You just have to roll some wool and just tuck in the edges to make a paw. And you can leave the other end loose so you can attach it to the body easily. So these are the hands. Now the leg. The rolling of the leg is a bit tricky. Like for the arm you just roll. And for the leg I'm shaping it as I roll the wool. So the thigh part is some loose wool. And then I tighten the end of it to make a paw. So it's rounded from the top and a bit elongated where the hind paw is going to be. As you can see it's already coming into shape and you can add more wool to it if you want a thicker thigh. And you have to really felt it down to make the paw. So these are the hind legs. So I'll tell you once again, when you start rolling the leg, it has to be loose from the top and as you go down, you just keep rolling it into a narrow end and then you felt it down. So you'll get the shape of the thigh and the leg. So I'm trying to match the one I've already put on the cat. and get it the same size. I'm attaching it to the body and I can shape it over here as well. And just bend the front part of the bow and felt it in so it, it was seen like uh, she has little tools that are folded so I'm going to attach the arms now I'm giving a little white color just below the plastic eye that I've put in just to give it more details it's just a very tiny strand of white wool just a few threads and with a very fine needle I'm just putting them in You can cut off the extra bits when you're done with both the eyes. Now I'm going to roll a tail. It's easier to do it with a skewer. And just roll some wool for your desired length. And just felt it down. Just rolling it between your palms makes it a bit more finished and gets smoother. So you can shape a lot of things with your hands.
I'm going to give it some color so I'm using this strand of darker grey and you can make stripes if you want I'm using dark grey, white and making stripes on the tail Now I'm using dark grey color to give it stripes and uh, you can refer to a picture of a cat and give the stripes as you want. I'm just starting from the forehead. Just a little strand and just felt it out so they're fairly easy to do. Now I'm done with all the stripes and I'm going to attach the tail. So I had left one end of it quite fuzzy so it's easier to attach it to the bottom. Now we're done with the cat and i hope you enjoyed watching it please do subscribe and like if you want to see more of such videos it was my own design and i really enjoyed doing it hope you have learned some things and you'll make one too thank you very much once again